guy. I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left in Miguel County. Sure, I know. I'm just venting. It's getting better. Thanks for driving me home, Mike. I got you. I got you. It's okay. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Anne? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. You could stay here, too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of, like, four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... See you around, Steph. I had an incredible mom. I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Bye, Mom. Gay. Look. I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just... maybe don't cash that check, like, right now. Hide it, my feathered friend. Please, I need you. Is she looking for a bird? Maybe I'll keep cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh. Good luck. That might 
might be our feathered friend. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. It's bullshit. We have a right to know. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Want to do something together next week? These things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Leave her like this. What do you want? How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking? What the hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I wanna broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've... Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. All right. 
Let's hear this infamous song. Loot! Oh, cool! I learned a magic attack! <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going! What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. I swung over the top. supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. I just haven't slept. Let's see what we can find around here. Slayers. I feel like there's more stuff to find in the Black Lantern. There was some really interesting stuff in there. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Oh there! You look like adventuring folk. Let's see what stuff's done to the place. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... 
That's correct. Yes! Thanks. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got, um... Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? I should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. Son, get it over with. <laughs> I, I don't want to get sick. You're gonna feel a whole lot better after you do. I'm, I'm gonna die, Dad. Not tonight, you're not, birthday boy. Although I suspect you're gonna wish you had tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Atta boy. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Nana, no, hey. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did... You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chen, John, and no. But I, I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. 
You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now.